Hey there. Good morning. It's me, Tom the Mormon, the compassionate, free-thinking, Christian, anarchist, transhumanist, vegan, who has a love of all life, and the blockchain. If you haven't heard of the blockchain, look it up. It's called Google Search. Plug in the word B-L-O-C-K-C-H-A-I-N. One word, blockchain. And if you want to add something to make it a little bit more spicy and special, put the word TED beside it. Blockchain TED. TED Blockchain. TED is uh, TED Talks. Go check out the TED Talks on the blockchain. Learn a little bit about the blockchain. Get your passport. Get some ID. Because it is very, very sensitive. They don't want anybody else pretending they're you. Go down to Coinbase. Use my code if you want to get a discount. It's listed below there in the comment bar. In the description bar, excuse me. And um, open yourself up an account. And go along with Bitcoin. Because, you know, you can buy some of these other coins. And they're good. And they go up. But go along with any of them. Um, if they drop down in price a little bit, don't worry about it. They always rebound and go higher always rebound and go higher because it's so new you're getting in at the ground floor it's so new it's so much fun if you had a known when it was $12 that would be over $4,000 right now it's like $4,500 right now you would just be stockpiling every single thing you could find to buy it, even when it was a hundred dollars. The thing is, is back when it was a hundred dollars, I couldn't find anybody who would uh, uh, use a Canadian credit card to make a deposit or or, or uh, be able to uh, pay out onto a credit card. Basically, you need a Canadian credit card and a passport to have an account on the blockchain with Coinbase, and, uh, and then one of these. Other several exchanges, everything from Bittrex to uh, to Kraken to uh, uh, lots of other uh, exchanges out there. And as a backup, Coin Mama is a good one to have. It's uh, it's like Coinbase. It's a it's a place where you can have your digital wallet located uh, if you want, or you can have a paper wallet as well set up a paper wallet and, and trade it back and forth uh, with a big, long, multi-digit cryptocurrency address. And that's how it works. It's all done with addresses. They're like keys. Back and forth. They're very complex and they're very highly encrypted. So uh, very, 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 very extremely difficult to uh, basically impossible to imitate um or hack, you know, um, so anyways, uh, far more sophisticated than the, the encryption that the bank uses, that you're using now, when you go to the bank machine, or the bank online, or, uh, what have you, and you're using your MasterCard or Visa, uh, you know, uh, and your passport, your Canadian passport, you got all those things in line, you're in good, standing to start yourself off a blockchain account you're in a good position to do that so have yourself a wonderful time buying some bitcoin and getting prepared for it to double in price and it's going to happen quicker than you think it has doubled in price several times it started off as a one and a half cents per Bitcoin. That's right. I said one and a half cents per Bitcoin. Can you imagine back when it was just a concept and you could get a hold of somebody in Asia or Japan somewhere and buy yourself like 25 bucks worth of Bitcoin? Yeah, you'd be a multimillionaire. Fun wow.
But either way, like all things, they grow. And if, you know, if everybody knew about Apple and Microsoft, everybody would be a millionaire. Anyways, it is what it is, and it's still growing. There's a, a ton of growth. It's still in its infant years. I urge you to get on the blockchain now um, before it is gigantic. Because it's going to be gigantic. Because just think about it. Everybody's going to go to electronic currency. I mean, everybody. We're already on a form of electronic currency now. Everything's done through the internet, through the computers. But it's done with clearing houses. It's still done with some old, old physical signatures. You have to walk into a branch. You know, so a lot of banks now are just using a digital signature where you push a button and bingo. And it's being connected to the blockchain. It has to be. The more work that's done on the blockchain, the greater the cryptocurrency on the blockchain increases in value. So don't buy it and sell it and buy it and sell it and buy it and sell it. If you do that, it's very, you know, you got to be good because, you know, you, you don't want to... You're better off just buying it when it's low and leaving it and never selling it. And then just buy more. when it's If it ever dips down, that's when you buy it. Don't panic. Don't ever sell it. You should never sell your Bitcoin. Never sell your Bitcoin. Use it like it's an RRSP. Invest everything you can afford to lose that you would spend, oh, wherever, on frivolous things out in, in the world. And invest it in the blockchain into Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin or one of the other 100, 700 cryptocurrencies. You can go to the worldcoinindex.com. Just follow it. If you're interested in it and you're not, you don't have the courage to get your passport and your credit card together and open up a bank, uh, uh, a cryptocurrency bank account in, uh, in San Francisco at Coinbase for whatever reason go on World Coin Index and follow it and see with your own eyes how it increases in value at an exponential rate right before your eyes it'll dip down every once in a while but it'll swoop up really fast and it's going up if you want to catch the wave up because that's how you make money. So invest in the blockchain. Love one another. Take good care of your family. If there's something in your family you're thinking about, and I know you're thinking about them, give them a call. Give them a call. Tell them you're thinking about them. Or her. And give her a ring, you know? Give him or her a ring and a... And a tell them that you were thinking about them and that you love them that's enough for me for today have yourselves a great day well thank you for listening to the podcast like and subscribe to my channel post your comments questions criticisms in the comment bar below in the name of jesus christ amen